we are providing the European service module. That means we are providing the propulsion system, we take care of the heat which has been generated and uh, we are making sure that that heat gets radiated into the outside. On top of this, we are generating power. Our solar array wings are producing that power. We are conditioning that power and deliver that to the cool module and deliver that to the batteries with it, which are located inside the cool module. And finally, we are also providing what the astronaut need to have to live. That's mainly water and that's oxygen and nitrogen to generate the atmosphere in the, in the cool module itself. We can see here the auxiliary thruster, which are red. We have eight of them coming from Aerojet. Here we have the OMSE, so the main engine, but without the nozzle, which will be integrated in one of the latest integration steps. This and this are the reaction part of the reaction control system. So this cover is not part of the flight, so it uh, will be removed before the flight. Inside we have uh, then four uh, RCS thruster for each of these box. In total we have 24 RCS thruster. We are now finalizing our integration and we are finalizing our test phase up to our pre-ship review date. The radiators are part of our thermal control system and playing a vital role in there. Um, they're making sure that the heat gets radiated out of that entire spacecraft into the, into the outside world. What does it mean for us? We are closing the ESM. That will be the last time here on Earth that we have a chance to look inside the vehicle. And then afterwards, as soon as we have installed the radiators, we will continue our testing, which is mainly the TCS, the thermal control system test. So we will have our fluidic pump in operation, make sure that the fluidic loop um, is getting filled up with our coolant fluid. We're preparing ourselves to be ready for shipment, and we're preparing ourselves to be ready for the final integration with the rest of the vehicle, and then we are ready for a test campaign in the US so that the vehicle can be put onto the launcher and then we are ready for flight.